Hey guys, I'm going to attempt to do a short video on how to replace the filler neck tube grommet on a 2000 saline Mustang, which essentially is the same thing as a uh, GT or a V6, same setup. So let's see how this goes. So this here is where you replace your hydraulic jack or jack that you have. This is in front of the right rear tire and slightly inside of the um, body kit uh, fairing. It's a metal, it's a solid metal structure that is, it's got a flat surface and that's where you will place your jack. Okay, so this is where I place the jack. As you can tell, it's right on the frame in between the uh, bracket that the exhaust is welded onto. That's a uh, plus or um, rubber bushing, so we don't want to put the jack there. And uh, we put it, I place it just between the rear bumper and the uh, rubber bushing, right underneath the uh, the uh, metal frame there. So this is a safety precaution, just in case the jack um, loses pressure and the car is not going to fall on you. So the next step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and remove the right rear tire so that I can have wiggle room to reach into the filler neck tube a little later on, which is this one here. And hopefully I can pull it out. Next step, you wanna lose these bolts here, the 10 millimeter, and this is what holds the filler neck tube in place. So the next step is to remove this bolt is it with an eight millimeter socket, which will allow you to pull the filler neck tube out. And uh, this is a uh, essentially a bracket that's holding it in place. So now that it is removed, the next step is to disconnect these vent lines here. And this one here is an eight millimeter. Let's loosen it up. Should be able to pull it right out. Okay, so these are just notoriously difficult to remove once everything is loose. So the next step is to remove these bolts here, which then allow this plastic casing to move freely. And theoretically, we'll see if we can move the uh, filler neck tube and wiggle it out that way. In the meantime, I'm going to sp spray some DB Blaster or WD-40 around the crevices here in hopes of loosening some of this stuff up and lubricating it so that when the time comes to wiggle it out, it comes out a little bit easier. So I'm spraying all around and Gonna let it settle. These bolts, they're not your Allen type of uh, bolts, they're more like in a star pattern. So they use a different type. Just be aware of that. And it should come right out. So now that all of these bolts are removed, as well as the cover, the gas uh, cover is part of that. As you can tell, you can wiggle this plastic pump essentially around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach over into the trunk. On the right side, I'm going to remove all of these covers here and reach that plastic cup from in here. Okay, so once you have gained access to that area by moving some of these fairings out of the way, as you can tell, I can move this freely back here and the filler neck tube actually separates from that plastic cup I was uh, mentioning earlier. Then the next goal will be to remove these bolts here, which will allow me to remove this uh, plastic um, grommet, so to speak, um, out of the way and then once I do that, then I should be able to move the entire filler neck tube 
around as needed. Um, it looks like there's always there's also a vent hose here that I will have to address as well. But for now, I'm going to focus on removing these bolts here. So these bolts are also eight millimeter bolts. And like so, remain, uh, remove the other two. So now that the bolts have been removed, as you can tell, I can move this freely. This will come up. If I can push it from the bottom, it'll be easier to move um, out of the way. Let's see if I can... Uh, grab the flathead. I'm gonna work my way in here. loose. So this here I'm going to attempt to separate from the filler neck and remove the plastic cup and see if I can move it out of the way and to the side which will then allow me to completely move the filler neck tube through the um, outside uh, portion of the uh, filler neck tube. So I should be able to actually, once I get this plastic cup out of the way and uh, push the side from inside the trunk, then this will be free to move and I should be able to pull it out completely out of here if I need to. So as you can tell, I have separated the plastic cup out of the way and uh, it was seated right, right here. And I separated that from the filler neck tube on the top of it. And basically the only thing that's sort of going to get in my way here is this vent line that I pointed out earlier that's actually connected down to the assembly of the filler neck tube. So I'm going to wiggle this and pull this out. So now I should be able to pull this cup completely out of the way. And now I have the room I need to wiggle this filler neck tube up. Okay, so the next part of the toughest part of this whole thing, which is pulling the filler neck tube out. Um, previously, if you remember, I sprayed some PB blaster in there, WD-40, to loosen it up while I was removing the rest of the assembly in the trunk. Uh, so I'm gonna grab a rag and just clean the area, so that way when I pull it out, dirt and any other residues don't get in there, and we all know that's not good for the fuel pump and everything else. So just going here, do my best clean around it as well as the filler neck tube all the way around all right and this is clean I'm gonna get it so the plan is to grab it like so and up here if you can film up here I have a hold of the filler neck tube from the top. So while I pull at the bottom, I'm going to also assist with my left arm um, and guide it upwards. So I'm gonna pull toward me and then slowly gonna guide it up. See how this goes. Okay, so, so far so good. I felt it move, it's coming out. Now wiggling it through the top hole while I continue to pull. Okay. Okay, so it seems like it's coming out completely. And right up here, I'm actually not going to pull the filler neck tube through the hole like I previously thought. It looks like it's gonna go right into the trunk. So I'm still pulling up from a, with my left arm. It's just that I'm continuing to pull into the trunk rather than trying to guide it out. Be careful, of course, not to break the plastic filler neck tube. Be patient. Kind of keep a mental note as well at the angle that you're 
this is actually coming out at because you will have to put this back together and most likely will go in the same way that it came out so this fit is getting in the way so i'm gonna go ahead and move it out of the way just over this bracket here i need a better angle on this Okay, so it is almost out, I can see it. Okay. So, plan B. I can, I'm sure that I can actually pull this out right now, but I'm thinking ahead. Eventually I'm gonna have to get this two back in there. And since I'm struggling so much to get it out, just because of the angle, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to loosen up, not completely remove, but just loosen up the bolts that are holding uh, the tank up. Um, and then hopefully that'll give me just about half an inch to an inch more. And that's going to allow me to remove this here come more comfortably and also install it back later so right in front of the tank you're gonna see two bolts this uh, socket is 13 millimeters you're gonna stick it in here you got one there and you've got another one closer to your exhaust your right hand exhaust and again these bolts are pretty long but we're not we're not taking it out completely we're just going to loosen it up just enough to get the tank a little bit lower okay so i'm gonna loosen up one at a time since i don't have anything holding the tank up um, of course i don't want to go all the way out i still have the other strap holding the tank up so it's not going to be a problem i'm going to loosen this up a little bit make sure that it still has threads in it and then i'm going to work on the other one So I got about half an inch out and I'm going to do the same with the other side. Oh, well, you can cut. <laughs> All right, so attempt number two after loosening up the, uh, the bolts a little bit. Looks like I'm gonna have to loosen it up a little bit more. Lower the tank slightly, so we'll have to uh, completely uh, unbolt. Uh, the bolts are holding the straps uh, uh, for the tank, for the fuel tank. So I'm not completely not gonna go down with it, but I did add for extra security and other jack stand in here because I will have to use my jack in order to support the tank in place while lower lower slightly. So I'm going to actually remove the jack stand. I'm gonna place it underneath the uh, the tank with a piece of plank 
to even out the pressure on the fuel tank. Okay. And I'll be able to over tank slightly more than before and that should be enough room to wiggle this out and hopefully be easier to put it back together later. I have to push the tank over a little bit. And there she is. I'm going to move it out of the way. I'm going to show you the condition of the grommet and why it was leaking so badly. Look at that. Completely ripped and uh, the PB blaster did make this this job a little bit easier uh, so keep that in mind so the next step will be to remove the grommet itself see how that goes I'm gonna keep the going on see how this goes so I'm going to remove it by sticking my finger through Let's see if I can figure out a way to do this without dropping any residue into the tank. Yeah, this is completely complete of shape. Okay, so my girlfriend and I managed to actually put the filament grommet in and unfortunately even though at the start of the video I said that this will be about how to do it without dropping the tank well it was a half truth so we ended up actually uh, having to drop the tank about uh, about a quarter to halfway down um, just enough so you can get enough wiggle room um, enough wiggle room in here to be able to put that in place now the trick was to find a way to actually get this to go in so uh, girlfriend found a way to do it and essentially this little lip you have here you're going to keep that pointing up you're going to bend it this way so that it forms a cone shape like so then you're going to slide that into the lip and then press in and obviously this is going to be a lot uh, wider than the diameter but what you're going to do is once you have the top and the sides this kind of like quarter part in place like so you're going to slowly start pressing on the sides and then around and around and eventually all, all this area here will start going in and you're gonna get to the part where you're gonna have a little piece like, like that sticking in. 
And the way you get that in is by pressing really hard on the outside, like so. And at the same time, I found it useful to get one of these since it's not sharp to kind of help me get some of these edges in there. Didn't quite help me that much, but it helped me a little bit. Uh, there, most of it was essentially just using your hands. And uh, I did have to cheat a little bit. I know I said I'll use PP Blaster, um, but I ended up actually using grease. And basically uh, the grease went just around the lip area, since this is what's going to make uh, contact. And uh, that's how we did it. So the next step would be to work on installing the uh, filler neck tube in there. All right, so I almost got the filler neck tube aligned. And basically what I had to do is I had to drop the tank at an angle. So what I did was I put a jack stand on the passenger side and then I wiggled the tank um, while dropping the jack so I can get it on an angle like this. And then uh, hopefully this will allow me to flip the uh, filler neck tube in there a little bit easier. Okay guys, so that angle that I, I was at, I was able to slip that in, no problem at all. Um, I did use a little bit of uh, grease, just barely enough um, around uh, the tube. And uh, just just like I, when I pulled it out, I uh, used a little bit of leverage from reaching from the top with my left arm and then right arm guiding the tube in. And then it went in without, without any issues at all. So <clears throat> right now I'm gonna work on strapping the tank back into place. And then after that, I'm going to start putting the, uh, the vent uh, lines back in. And then I work my way to the trunk and then uh, putting all the pieces back together there. Okay guys, I just finished uh, putting the gas tank straps back into place and the first thing I did in the trunk was that I took this the plastic cup um, and I put it in place I haven't tightened anything down yet uh, so I just put it in place there are no bolts here yet so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to bolt down this from the outside and uh, now that we're here I'm gonna go ahead and put this vacuum line back this vent line back in and then I will tighten these and then make my way down make my way down to uh, down below the tank and then secure that once uh, uh, bracket that is uh, uh, that was holding the filter neck tube in place which is this one here once I got this in place then I will work on securing the next vent lines and then putting the cat back on and the cover and uh, we'll be in good shape.